But Cal, I didn't see what you saw. Beating you a couple of times doesn't make him a psychopath. Once. He only beat me once. The second time I let him win, because I wanted to see how much he got off on uh, humiliating me. I know that there's women on the, on the horizon. I know that it's, there's a lot of illegal behaviour on the horizon and very sort of... A lot of naughtiness, I think. It'll be a lot more rogue behaviour. All right, there's a lot of people out there who might enjoy doing that, but they all know me. He doesn't. What we're trying to figure out now is, if he's in a relationship, what kind of woman would, would it be? And who could survive it? Um, and the kind of woman that that would be is very, very tough. If you take the ability to get into a room using a badge away from the equation, how do you get into a room? How do you, how do you talk your way into a situation that you shouldn't, by rights, be, be uh, legally invited to? A lot of um, playing around with the notion of dancing on the edge of the law to, to, uh, to get into a, a, you know, a particular situation. I'm going to need his medical files and any psychological profile might exist. You know that those are confidential. Yeah. yeah. It's an odd way and a quite a nice way to spend 45 minutes at the end of your day sitting with this guy. He's quite, he's quite an interesting guy and the people around him are, 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 um, are frustrated with him but also charmed by him as well. It's, it's an odd and, and I think also I think one of our key, key successes is the, is the daughter, father-daughter relationship which is, a, which is not traditional but has a really good heart to it. Well, Mrs. Walker lied about Martin's happy childhood. You seeing a pattern then? Cal, he was five. Two and a half times a terrible twos. <laughs>